Sometimes it's useful to be able to boot a, a computer into one of several different operating systems. This is known as multi-boot. With multi-boot, you can configure your computer to start from several different operating systems. You might do this because you want to test application compatibility, because you're testing a new operating system, because you're supporting multiple users on the same computer. If you configure multi-boot, you should see a startup menu like the one on the right here. You can then choose the appropriate operating system. Use the following high-level procedure to enable multi-boot. First, create a separate disk partition for the new operating system. Secondly, start your computer with the installation media installed. So, for example, insert a bootable memory stick or DVD. Launch the operating system installation program. Specify the installation target as the newly created partition. Whilst using multiboot has attractive possibilities, it's a little old fashioned. These days, if you want to support multiple operating systems, consider using a virtual hard disk and some sort of hypervisor like client Hyper-V. With Windows 10, you can even use native boot from a virtual hard disk. This enables you to start your computer to Windows 10 from a virtual hard disk and you don't need client Hyper-V. You can only do this if you're using Windows 10 Enterprise or Windows 10 Education. To configure a native boot VHD, use the following high-level procedure. Create the virtual hard disk. Attach the hard disk to your computer, but don't initialize the virtual hard disk yet. Generally, as soon as you attach the virtual hard disk, you are prompted to initialize the disk. Start up your computer from the Windows 10 installation media. Launch a Windows elevated command prompt. Attach the virtual hard disk. Install Windows 10 to the newly attached virtual hard disk. Although native boot is very convenient, there are a number of features that are unavailable. These include hibernation, but sleep mode is still supported. You cannot upgrade the virtual hard disk installed version of Windows 10. BitLock if a whole drive encryption is non-functional. You can't start up Windows 10 from a VHD that's located on a remote share or on a USB flash drive. To boot from VHD, use the following procedure. First of all, create and attach a virtual hard disk. Initialize the disk as an MBR partition type. Create a volume on the disk partition and format that volume using the NTFS file system. Insert the Windows installation media. Open an elevated command prompt and run the DISM command as follows. This will apply the image file to the drive letter V, assuming this is the drive letter that you have assigned to the newly formatted volume. Use the bcd boot command to modify the startup environment. You can also install Windows setup files on a bootable USB. To do this, use the following steps. Download the media creation tool. Run the tool. Select Create Installation Media for another PC. Select the appropriate language, edition and architecture. Choose USB flash drive and then select the removable drive in your PC. The Media Creation tool will now download the appropriate version of Windows 10 and copy it to your removable drive. Let's take a look at how to create a bootable USB Windows 10 installation disk. OK, so the first thing to do is to download the uh, media creation tool. You can go to the Microsoft.com website. Locate the Create Windows 10 Installation Media link and then select Download Tool Now. Save the tool. It will obviously 
download into your downloads folder by default. And then once that's complete, you can choose to run the program. I'm going to confirm with user account control that I want to proceed. I'm going to accept the terms of the license agreement. So using the media creation tool, you can upgrade the computer you're sitting at, or you can create installation media, which is what I'm going to do. I can choose the uh, language, the edition, and the architecture. And then I can create a USB flash drive or burn to an ISO. It can see that I have um, an appropriately configured USB flash drive. So I've selected that. It's now downloading the appropriate version of Windows, the one that I selected earlier. After verification, it goes on to create the Windows 10 media. And so there we are, the USB flash drive is ready. It's on drive E. I click finish to close the wizard. And then if I take a look through Windows Explorer, and have a look at drive E, there we have it. That's the bootable setup for the version of Windows that we downloaded, Windows 10 Enterprise 64-bit. All that would remain now is for you to take that uh, media to the computer you want to install, uh, insert the USB stick and start the computer from the USB stick. That might require that you reconfigure the computer's BIOS or UFI settings so that it can boot from USB, but most modern computers will do that as soon as it recognizes that there's a, a bootable device. In the demonstration you saw how to create a bootable USB Windows 10 installation disk.